Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where we try to seek the good. I hope all of you are having a nice day, and today I'm going to tell you guys about the two good things that happened in my day to make my day better. And the first of those good things is um, I got to interact with a couple of pretty good patients today. And um, usually this will stand out to me, is, um, especially on a day when I'm supposed to be scribing. I don't really have a lot of patient interactions, less so now since I've uh, stopped. Um, screening people in the mornings but um, the reason why these patient interactions are um, important to me is because one th one of the reasons I've really gotten into healthcare is because I want to help people I want to make people stays better I want to give them hope all of that and with these two patients I kind of got to do that in a way not in the way that I intend to in the future as a, a cardiologist but uh, just like in a way that I can do right now. Um, like the first patient was um, an old widow that was putting a monitor on this morning and um, she had lost her husband about a year ago. And whenever I hear that someone's lost their spouse or someone close to them, I always ask to see how they're doing even if it's been a while because you never know with grief. And in this case, grief was uh, still with her because she broke down into tears and just spend a long time uh, talking to me about them and uh, I don't know if I really helped out much in the end but the best thing I could do at that point was just listen let her get it out because people process their grief in different ways and um, I wanted to in that moment help her to process her grief putting on the monitor and all that that's okay I uh, was able to do that just fine uh, her talking didn't interrupt it at all and it's supposed to be greeting her for several days anyway, so it wasn't like a uh, need to get in, get out kind of thing. So I was able to just like take some time, listen to her, um, and just like let her talk. I didn't have to say anything, I didn't have to interact, I just had to listen to her and I hope that it made her feel a bit better. I hope it made her day just a little bit better. And that's something I can do now and something I was glad to do. And on the other hand, or on the other side of it, there was another patient that I had today that his wife was very concerned about um, the rhythms that he was getting. Again, another patient I was putting a monitor on. The patient himself said he felt fine, but his wife was very concerned, telling me everything that happened had a lot of questions. And that I had to take a more active role because um, just listening wasn't going to do a lot. They were looking for answers, not for someone to talk to about it. So I listened to all of it, I checked the guy's pulse, could tell that there was a reason for the concern. And um, when God won the nurses, um, did a quick EKG before putting the monitor on, and we talked to the EP about it. And all of this was to try and confirm to the wife and the patient that um, it wasn't an emergency or anything. There was something going on, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't anything that we had to really be afraid of at that moment. And um, that was something that I was able to uh, put them at ease a bit whenever I uh, was able to do this for them because I was able to confirm to them that it wasn't an emergency. It was still something going on, so there is still cause for concern about that. But just knowing that something isn't an emergency does a lot, and I mean a lot, to make people, to put people at ease. So I was able to do that for them. One by being passive and listening to the other by being a bit more active, taking charge of what was going on, and uh, just trying to get them some answers. And hopefully in the future I can do more for patients like that. Just have a more active role in helping them out. But today and these kind of moments um, help to reaffirm why I'm doing what I'm doing, why my goals are what they are. Um, and I hope to achieve those goals one day and just continue to help people out. So some good things right there. And the other good thing that happened was uh, more of a something that happened yesterday and I just forgot to talk about because I was very tired and had a lot to do. Um, but because I was feeling really bad whenever I got home and I took that really long nap, my uh, wife ended up waking me up after about three hours had passed because it was her lunch break. And the reason why she had woken me up is because she had gotten lunch from one of my favorite Asian restaurants in town. And um, it was just something I really appreciated and something I didn't appreciate enough when it happened at the, t at the time. But I wanted to go ahead and mention it now because, again, whenever I'm having a bad day, my wife and Domino are both there to always make my day better. 
so they should get some recognition for that and I should have mentioned it yesterday so that's my bad but good things right there and I'll kind of do it for the good things that have happened today so just to kind of um, summarize things a bit first thing good thing that happened was I had a couple of good patient interactions where I have feel like I was able to help people a bit in the way that I can now and it was able to reaffirm my goals that I have for myself in healthcare one day and uh, the other good thing that happened was something that happened yesterday but my wife got uh, lunch from my favorite Asian restaurant and I was able to enjoy that after waking up from a pretty good nap and that will do it for all the good things that have happened today so if you guys had anything good that happened in your day please feel free to share it down in the comments below so we can continue to share um, the good things that happen all around us. Sorry, the remote to the camera just dropped. If you don't feel comfortable sharing your good things, that's okay. I hope you'll consider to take something positive away from these videos to make your day just a little bit better. Also, if you like the video or like any of the content on the channel, I hope you'll consider liking and subscribing at some point, just so we can keep up with future good things that happen. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you continue to have a nice day, and this has been Seek the Good. Goodbye.